Hey, Lisa here with our Georgia Suburban Homestead doing a January 29th mail call. Now some of these things have been in for a, few, for a little bit and I've just been too busy to do a mail call so I'm sorry for those of you who sent me things a little bit earlier but here I have a really nice card from Gail at uh, Gail Southern Living and she says you're the best. That's so sweet, Gail. I need to hear things like that. And she says, Lisa and Charles, thank you so much for becoming a member of my channel. I appreciate... <coughs> I'm choking up. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Sincerely, Gail at Gail Southern Living and Broken Hearts Ministry. Thank you, Gail. That's very nice. Let's see. This will excite those of you who are seed addicts or pepperheads. It is an installment, an international package. You see that? International. All the way from India to this year's pepper fetish, which is the Indian subcontinent. And uh, Mike over at Mike's Chaotic Gardening, I teased you by telling you there's something I kind of have half an inkling to send you, but you've got to be nice to me, okay? We've got Nepal snake bite chilies. We've got something called purple bleeder. How gruesome is that? Tasia peppers. And from Kashmir, we've got Kashmiri merch. I love Kashmiri food. It's so good. Here's what I'm going to tease you with, Mike. It's a surprise variety pack that they threw in because I bought this seed and imported it from them. It can have Carolina Reaper. Bohut Jolokia, which are ghost peppers. Ahi Cherapita, the most expensive pepper in the world. Dorset Naga and Thai Dragon. So, we don't know. <coughs> this is, um, and I'm choking from the fumes off the seed. Um, I think what they do is they spill a certain amount of seed, and they have no idea how much they spilled, or what they were that they spilled, and they just sweep them in the bags. That's just my theory. This is an order from Baker Creek. And uh, it's time for me to refurbish my herbs in the garden. And I bought Thyme, Magic Carpet. And this is good for in between walking pavers in the garden. Uh, it takes foot traffic really nicely, it feeds the bees. And it's really essentially a ground cover. I've got a lemon thyme, a wild thyme, which is more of a marjoram, Greek oregano, free lettuce, yay, free seed, winter savory, which I like so much to cook with. This stuff's good. S lemon savory, which is a new herb for me. These are all going into my green stock. Uh, planter and then wild zatar, which is from the Middle East, which I mix with sesame seeds and sumac for really nice uh, flavoring stuff. So, this is one um, again that uh, comes from overseas, which means. Oh, actually, Reamer Seed Co Company, they import from overseas, and then I, they sent it to me. This is really, I'm really excited about this, and I don't think Charlie knows I ordered these. Uh, but he's listening to us from across the room. Charlie, I ordered Midnight Pumpkins, and they're supposed to be a black sugar pumpkin. Huh. Hopefully we can get them past the... Yeah, numbers. we're going to have to plant the um, Hubbard squash to 
attract the bugs away from this because I really want to see what this is like. Black yeah, pumpkins. We haven't, we haven't been able to get pumpkins since huh? we got here. We haven't been able to grow any pumpkins since we got here. No, we had sugar pumpkins a year before last. We got one. Maybe. And we got one from last year, and it's we waiting to be cooked. Last year. If you go look on the shelves, we've got one from last year. Mm -hmm. okay. It wasn't too prolific. It grew and it did fine, but only produced one pumpkin. Um, what is this? Oh, elephant ear hot peppers from India. I'm sorry, elephant trunk ear doesn't make sense. Elephant trunk hot peppers from India. Two packets of those because I thought that looked really good. Daharaj hot peppers. Bangalore, Bangalore torpedo hot peppers. And HR. Achar, hot peppers. So that's India. To add to my eccentric stack of Indian peppers, and I've got more coming, importing from Australia, who hopefully will be here soon. So thank you for the card, Gail, and now I've got to go to the greenhouse and start my peppers. It's time. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Are you intrigued by any of these Indian hot peppers? See ya.